episode, the March 2nd episode. It's a big storyline with Sloan and Gibbs going to Afghanistan. And I'd love for you to talk a little bit about what that's like for Sloan because she has quite a traumatic history related to that country. So can you talk about what it's like for her to go back? Well, we found out, I think in season one, the end of season one, that Jack Sloan was held captive in Afghanistan when she was in the army. And uh, Rocky's character uh, helped to free her, but she was tortured and she went through a really hard time. So suddenly she gets a message from Afghanistan and she knows she has to go. And of course she doesn't go without Gibbs going. <laughs> they they wanna do this mission together. And what makes it so urgent for her that she knows she has to actually go there? Someone who Sloan became close with when she was being held captive uh, leaves her a note in Afghanistan and Sloan feels indebted to this woman who helped to save her life really has to go back and help and see what she can do. So she goes with Gibbs. G Gibbs and Sloan have always had this kind of chemistry, maybe a little bit of a romantic chemistry. In a stressful situation like going back to that country, does that bring that out a bit? Do they have a moment? That Does that come to a head? What can you kind of tease about Gibbs and Sloan? Well, as you've seen over these last three and a half years, Gibbs and Sloan have become good pals. They really like each other. They really respect each other. They really trust each other. They have a, a good sense of humor between them. And I think that it's been teased a lot. Some people are like, well, were they really sleeping together? Or weren't they? Was there a romance? And who knows if that question will ever be answered. Um, but safe to say that it will be a continuation of that great love that they have for each other. And how much on the edge of their seats will fans be watching this Afghanistan episode? Listen, I think it's a very good episode. They said, the, the creators of the show, uh, Frank Cardia, and especially he said that they wanted to give her an honorable exit. And I think they did a heck of a job. Did you have input into how your character would leave? I did actually, that's why I, I have so loved this job the last three and a half years. It was probably the most creative, rewarding sets I've ever been on. Not just because the people are so kind and good, but it's very collaborative. We have uh, input on, on anything that happens with our characters. And particularly for this, for this last one, there was a lot of talking back and forth and Steve Binder would call me and Frank and Mark had some ideas. and. Together, we came up with something that I think the audience will really enjoy. What's your earliest memory of, of joining the NCIS cast? Do you remember your first day on set? What was that like? I remember a few weeks before going to meet Mark Harmon at the soundstage, and they were doing an episode in the submarine, and he had like a black eye and like dirt all over him. <laughs> it was the first time I was meeting him, and we just immediately gave each other the biggest hug. And... Uh, truly, when I say it's been an extraordinary experience, it has been. <laughs>